before we can start programming, we need to define our datum, and we need to tell the machine where it is. In this case, I've put it on the bottom left-hand corner of the component and on the surface of the component. And we don't need to just stop at one datum. We can use lots. We can use G54, G55, G56, G57, G58, and G59. And if that's not enough, we can use G51.1, G51.2, G55.2, etc. So we have pretty much an unlimited amount of datums we can use. This is ideal if we're making the same component multiple times out of the same block of material. We only need to program it once and then add a datum shift so we can program the same part in a different place of the material. Within the machine controls, we can tell the machine where we wish our datum to be in the grand scheme of things. This is normally done using a touch probe or by touching on the tool to the position we wish and then hitting measure. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this course because I don't have a machine control at hand. But to call upon it, we simply use G54 to tell the machine which datum we are using, or G55 or G56, etc. But there's also another way of setting the datum. If it's the same place every time, for example, you always have the same vice set up in the machine, or a fixture is always loaded in exactly the same position, we can set the datum in the machine using the code G10. We use the G code G10 to put information into the datum position. For example, we can tell the machine the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the G54 datum just by using one block of code. So G10 sets the work shift datum value. The next piece of information we need to tell the G10 is to give it an L2 value. This tells it that we're setting the standard work offsets. Now our P value tells it which datum we are putting this value into. For example here we've got P1 which is G54 and I'm going to be using G54 for the rest of this course for our main datum. So we would have P1 in this position to tell these coordinates to go into the datum of G54. If we use P0 or we don't add a P value at all it will automatically go to the last datum that was used. And finally, we have our X, Y, and Z coordinates. This is the position of the datum in relation to the machine datum. It's OK. We don't need to actually measure this. As I mentioned just now, we use the measure function on the machine controls to set this position for us. Then we just copy the position into this line of code. So let's have a look how we would write it in the program. First, we would have G10, then L2 to tell it with our setting our offsets. P1 tells it we're using the G54 offset, and then we tell it that offset is at X15, Y30, and Z0. And that is how we set the datum automatically using a line of program and the G10 G code.